Okay, so in this problem, they tell us that we have a Carnot engine, which is a maximum efficient engine operating between two heat reservoirs at temperatures of 520 Kelvin and 300 Kelvin. So let's go ahead and draw that. So it says we have an engine in between the two heat reservoirs. So here's the engine in the middle. And here's the two heat reservoirs on the outside of the engine, because this is between, that's what they tell us. So it tells us that the temperature of the first, or of the hotter reservoir, so T sub H, the temperature of the hotter reservoir is 520 Kelvin. T sub H. And then they also tell us that the temperature of the colder reservoir, T sub C, is 300 Kelvin. Now we know that heat flows from hot to cold, never from cold to hot. So when you touch a stove, that stove is sending heat to your hand. Because your hand is colder. So things flow from hot to cold. So just go ahead and label that by doing some arrows. So the heat goes into the engine, and then the engine also discards some of that heat. And then also some goes to mechanical work. That's what's left over. What stays in the engine and applies mechanical work. So the first question they ask us is, if the engine receives 6.45 kilojoules of heat energy from this reservoir, so this arrow's sending heat to the engine because this is the hotter to the cold if it sends 6.45 kilojoules i'll just label that q sub h is equal to let's put that in joules so multiply that by a thousand that's going to be six four five zero joules onto the engine if we apply this much much heat energy from this reservoir how many joules is discarded? So how much heat is discarded? Q sub C towards this direction, towards this reservoir. How much heat is discarded? So we go ahead and use this formula. So Q sub C over Q sub H is equal to T sub C, our temperature at the colder reservoir, divided by our temperature at the hotter reservoir. And they ask us to find Q sub C, so multiply both sides by Q sub H. So we have just this quantity. I'll write the formula up here. It's equal to Q sub H, multiplied by the temperature at the colder reservoir divided by the temperature at the hotter reservoir. So now that we have the formula, we just plug in the values. So Q sub C, the quantity that we want, is equal to the Q sub H, 6450 joules, multiplied by the temperature at the colder reservoir, 300 Kelvin, all divided by the temperature at the hotter, 520. Put this in the calculator, and you should get a value of 3,721 joules. That's part A, let's move on to part B. Okay, so I just wrote part A right here. So next, they ask us, how much mechanical work, so how much engine or how much uh, energy does this output towards the work direction? Because we put in some heat and then the engine also outputs some heat to this reservoir, but what's left over is applied to the engine's work. And the, the way we calculate this is work is equal to the heat from the hotter reservoir subtracted by the heat from 
the colder reservoir. We calculated this in the last question. So now we can just plug in values. So our work done is equal to Q sub H, 6450 joules minus Q sub C, 3721. So putting this in the calculator, we should get our work is equal to 2,728 joules. Let's move on to the last question, part C. So for part C, they ask us, what is the thermal efficiency of this engine? So we represent this by the lower, lowercase letter E. And the way we calculate that is the work divided by the heat applied from the hot reservoir. So it's simple division. So the value we calculated for W, 2,728 joules divided by the heat from the hotter reservoir, 6,450 joules. Notice the units cancel. So this has no units. Put these two numbers in the calculator, divide them. You should get 0.42. That's the answer to part C, but usually textbooks or teachers require this in a percentage. So you just move the decimal place two values to the right, that is. We're multiplying it by 100. So our efficiency percentage is going to just be 42 percent and that's how you do this problem thank you for watching